so mommy to towel so I do not know. All right, I'm starting the master bath uh, tile. I'm a little nervous, I'm gonna be real, um, but I'm excited to try the herringbone pattern and we'll see how this goes. <music> It's looking nice. I really like the design. Herringbone is very difficult. There's a lot of math, a lot of measuring, a lot of angles um, to do with it. And just give yourself grace. That's why we are the Grit and Grace family because we work really hard, but we extend grace in all areas of our life, including our own projects. So herringbone is 45 degree angle. So I'm using my square here. Grit and Grace sister is helping. We are trying to figure out calculations of how to start on this back there. wall. This is how it would be. This diagram. Okay, this is one, four, two, three. And I'm just, because then I would do the pattern like this, the pattern like this, mm -hmm. and continuously. And then you just build up and down from there. Right here, I am measuring the halfway point in order to get the sample herringbone pattern correctly set up. This is kind of what I'm going off of, just on how to place the tiles in the center line. So let's do this. figured it out. So this was the one I had before. I was measuring. So what I figured out is I was off by just a little bit. I use one of these now that I got the angle right. I just trace it, trace the back. This one will fit. So I'm doing this before I mix grout for the second time. So that one will fit. So that one's great. One. And you want to leave spacing as well. So there. And then this fell off of that side, so this is perfect because you know that it's gonna go there. Work once you get the gaps and you grout it, and it will all be pushed over so there won't be this big gap. But you can kind of see that it's gonna be beautiful, even though herringbone takes a lot of time. This is the first time I've done it, so it's like a love-hate relationship. It's beautiful, but I'm not sure about it yet. What is that? This? Mm-hmm. So this is called mortar, and this helps the tile. It's basically like cement, but it's not dry. When it dries, it's super hard like this.
All right, day two. This is how much I have done so far. So I'm pretty pumped to be able to go all the way up without cuts until maybe the ceiling. So we'll see. Um, I'm really proud of myself. It took a while to kind of figure out the pattern because the middle line is not right there. It's like right over there. So, so let's do this. how it's turning out so far good morning everybody it is day three I'm um, I got my happy uh -uh. what and then sometimes I just look at it to see like that top one's kind of going a little bit right here so sometimes the gaps can't be totally perfect. Okay. This one is a little tight. Good morning. You can see I made some progress. I got all the way to the top there. I'm gonna work on finishing that. So it's one, two, three, four pieces. A little nerve-wracking to match these up perfectly but i will do my best and hopefully there's some grace in caulking right so here we go This is my tarp setup. Eli has helped me. I made this, which helped me then use um, a drill bit for the top. This held it in place so it didn't move around when I had to cut this beautiful piece. And then I was able to do that with the table saw because it is a lot larger for that plate. I've been having trouble, so I'm trying to do a full tile and then it breaks off here. In my earlier videos, I ended up doing down here so I don't know why. And then I went over, so I had to take all of that off and put the pieces here. So when I cut a piece, the other part goes here. And it's really tricky to line up because eventually they will start to shift up. So I've had to shimmy some of them. 
It's not perfect, but I will, once I grout everything and then put caulk, it should look nice. I cut some, I made some mortar, and we're gonna continue up here so then I can get over here and put the Schluters to have a nice edge. I'm pumped to get this done. Thank you for following along so far. I know it just seems like it's not that long as you're watching this video, or maybe it does, but this has been a project for a while and I'm excited to, to finish it, to enjoy it, um, to take a nice bath in here, put my feet up, read a book, and enjoy the fruits of my labor. So let's keep going. This has been my lovely assistant. Look. He likes to mark everything artistically, so. I'm going to stick it. No more a second. So, my towering, so I do not know. I just need to shave. So, she's going to wear work, but she's going to be done. Okay. Oh, jeez. Spider-Man getting me. Oh, man. Whoa. So scary. Oh, another monster. Can you hand me my orange triangle? Thanks, babe. Whoa, what are you? So now that all. So what I'm concerned about is just making sure if I stopped there and I didn't make sure this fit and this piece fit, because these are all the same, and then I will adjust accordingly down here. Because um, these are all lined up. So because I'm making edits here, it affects these. These are the full ones. And then I just did the square to make sure it was square there. I have one tile left. I've cut it once. I just did it again. So hopefully this will get the last piece for the main wall. Nope. Just kidding. Okay, we're not done. That's okay. All right, third time's a charm. Never mind. I'm gonna do this. I'm ready to be done with this wall. So I just cut this Schluter piece. I just used this just straight up from Lowe's. It comes with three different ones. It kind of bent a little bit, but I literally just did it sitting down on the carpet. You leave a little bit of a gap and for the grout to go, but then it has a nice finished, I'll push this over more, but see, it'll have a nice finished edge just compared to like the raw tile. So it'll look really nice. I chose to do white, even though I'm gonna do gold fixtures, just in case people ever want to change this in the future. So we'll put mortar behind it, mortar behind the tile, mortar on the top, and it will just glue. So what I'm gonna do is tape it till I get to the point where I'm gonna mortar it, and then I'll have to start kind of from the bottom and making sure it's level as I go up. Okay, so progress. We finished. I got that done yesterday. And that so now that tape can come off i'm gonna finish this today and hopefully get started on here got a special friend here all the way from arizona Lindsay. instead of adding mortar behind each time as we go we're just gonna get it straight and flat and there we go and then if you need to adjust it you just take the screw out as you go okay. moment of truth she's back buttering the last piece for this side. Will it fit? <laughs> the episode of Grit and Grace Mysteries. 
holding my breath. <laughs> So what we're gonna do, this is Lindsay's great idea, is just do all full tiles up the wall and then figure out the sides. So here we go.